Hi viewers, welcome back to MHB Auto Vlogs. Today we have got this Nissan X Trial 2020. It's a quite exceptional SUV from Nissan. It's a mid-size uh, compact SUV. It's uh, offering lots of space and uh, lots of good features also. And we'll ch check it out its uh, arrivals, its performance, its interiors, everything. So we, before that, don't for forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. It's coming with a price tag of uh, 89,900 and uh, the top end version is uh, 134,900 so does it uh, justify the pri price tag we will find out in this video Now for starting with the exteriors well the uh, exteriors is uh, quite top notch and fit and finish is very good uh, the lower bumper uh, fit and finish is pretty good really uh, I really admire this car and the Nissan traditional V chrome grille looks awesome and uh, Boomerang kind of uh, design it has given for the headlamps and we are getting the LED DRLs daytime running lights. Talking about the dimensions, its, it's uh, length of this car is 4.59 uh, meters and uh, the width is 1.84 meters and the uh, height is 1.74 meters. It, it's got the wheelbase of 2.7 meters and we are getting this 2.17 uh, inch alloy wheels, which looks qu quite good and. Uh, If you are going for the SL variant, you will be getting the 18-inch alloys, uh, which is quite exceptional. And let's check out the rear dimensions. Sorry, the rear profile. Well, the rear profile looks awesome, and uh, it's got the Nissan badging and the 2.4 SV. This is the mid mid range mid option car. So we have uh, the tail lamps is of Boomerang and having LED LEDs also. Now talking about the interiors, well, the interiors are pretty good. You know, this is a SE model in this uh, X Trial. There are three uh, models available for sale: the S, the SV, the SL. SL is the top end model, but this is the SV we have got. So this is well equipped, and we are having some good uh, uh, <coughs> equipment available. We are having dual uh, dual uh, climate control in this car, which is pretty good. And uh, this is a, again, this is plastic and all, and some piano black finish and uh, uh, we are having this some leather over here and very sleek ac vents and ac is pretty good in this humid climate and uh, talking about the steering steering is also pretty good it's uh, some unconventional design by nissan we have already seen in the ultima and uh, nissan kicks but it's pretty good <laughs> it's fun to drive and very uh, having very haptic feedback and it is four way adjustable you can adjust this uh, according as per your convenience and your height pretty good and uh, regarding the odometer the odometer is good and having lots of info information there is a 7 uh, inch uh, infotainment system uh, driver information system is available which provides uh, tire pressure monitoring and 4x4 or this, this is a 4x4 model so uh, chassis control warning it provide warning it provides alarms whenever you are close to any object and it is having six uh, speakers available which is sounds pretty good and it has infotainment in, in, uh, this one infotainment system is available 7 inch infotainment system which provides uh, a support for apple a uh, carplay and also the android auto and we are having rear parking sensors whenever you uh, want to park the car it will show you, show you assist you with regarding the parking which is pretty handy feature and this is the key uh, there is nothing much more in the key uh, we are having an electronic tailgate and the lock and unlock button nissan badging looks premium uh, and uh, here we have some talking about the practicality here we are having a armrest which is quite awesome and we are having uh, dual modes available in this car which is uh, two wheel drive and the four four wheel drive four wheel drive whenever you want to do terrain and in the deserts in the uae it's pretty good it's uh, you can enjoy and for the fuel economy purpose you can drive in in the city with the the two wheel uh, drive which is quite uh, good you know and we are having some uh, here panoramic sunroof which is gives an amazing view whenever you're driving the car and now uh, let's uh, uh, regarding the safety features we are having uh, lane change assist uh, parking assist and uh, 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 four airbags for the rear passenger and the front passengers Uh, safety has been pretty good and we are having uh, charging stations over here one auxiliary port and this is for uh, lighter and all and you can also put your mobile charger and we are having this cup two cup holders let's check out the second row seats in this car 
Talking about the second row seats, there is ample amount of legroom available in this seat that on the max. So quite impressive. This is a SUV midsize SUV five seater. You will having you will be. It's quite expected. You will be having good room, headroom, and seats are very well cushioned. And we are having armrest over here, which is quite a convenient feature. And we are having for the second row. We are having this uh, second row AC is uh, available. It's quite good, you know. And one more thing, there is no charging outlets available for the rear passenger. Quite a downside. But uh, okay. Anyways, we'll, we're gonna check the uh, boot space in this car. Talking about the boot space, so we are having electronic toll gate, uh, tail gate. So, so under the hood, it's having around 550 liters of boot space. Quite good. Uh, this is a compact SUV, so it's quite exceptional, uh, you know. And you can fold the second rows also, and you can put up to 800 uh, liters of boot space. Quite good. And just one press, it's. Well, talking about the performance, uh, Nissan x -Trail is powered by 4-cylinder 2.5-litre engine which kicks out 169 horsepower at uh, 6000 rpm and 233 Nm of torque at 4000 uh, rpm and it's mated with a CVT gearbox. The car makes lots of sound and this is a CVT gearbox so you will feel, feel that rubber, rubber band effect. So. But the, I have done the, some on the freeways. The car really feels very optimized and uh, very planted and it, at high speeds, pretty good. And uh, uh, 0 to 100 kilometers, uh, it takes uh, 10 seconds and uh, that it has a top speed of uh, uh, 170 kilometer, uh, kilometer and, and it's got a fuel, it has a decent fuel economy around uh, uh, 12 kilometers I have, I have been getting. So, Pretty good, really. And now talking about his competitors, so the arch rival for this car is Honda CRV and uh, the Kia Sportage and uh, Hyundai uh, Hyundai Tucson and Mazda CX-5. And there are a lot, lot more exceptional cars. The Honda CRV. You can watch my video on Honda CRV. What I have made in the last video on the I button. Uh, just click the I button and uh, moreover. Uh, this car is a uh, pretty good uh, proposition from Nissan and uh, reasons to buy this car is uh, uh, Nissan's uh, good reliable engines and uh, uh, cost of uh, uh, cost of uh, repairing is very cheap when compared to the other other uh, established brands and uh, Nissan network is pretty good over here in, in UAE especially the Arabian Motors uh, Al Habtur group so you can go for this car so pause go well, the power delivery is very precise and the uh, suspension setup is uh, very appropriate. Uh, it takes the bottles and the road in perfection pretty well. Well, uh, the price of this car is uh, starting from uh, 79,900 and going up to the 135,900. Uh, the top top end variant with comes with lots of features like leather upholstery seats. Out on the freeways, uh, the car, car performs pretty well, uh, very appropriate and uh, inspired lots of confidence when you're driving at high speed. And uh, collision control, there is a lot of uh, uh, features available in the car. The basic variant is S, the, uh, the mid option what we are driving is uh, SL and uh, SV, sorry. Uh, the, the final version is, uh, the top end version is SL. So based on your requirement, you can choose the car. Uh, each and every option is pretty good. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and share share your opinions. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.